guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. It's going to be another weekend long vlog. I hope you guys are really excited. I am absolutely loving filming these for you guys. It's actually Thursday night. I just got back from Sephora because now that I have a Sephora in Kohl's, I'm literally addicted. They have all the brands and I am so freaking excited about it. If you guys haven't seen what the Sephora inside of Kohl's looks like, then definitely check out my previous vlog. It's amazing. It's like Wonderland. It's like Christmas. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what I got from there because there was a couple of different lipsticks that I had to pick up. I bought five different ones here and my gosh, high-end lipsticks are so expensive. Um, I paid full price for all of these guys and it still came up to like $70 and I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, so I ended up getting three different ones from the Sephora collection. This is just their house brand. So I ended up getting this one, which is number 65 and it's in spiked. Looks like this. It's kind of just like a mauve sort of tone, like a mid-tone mauve, I want to say. Then this one is a really good nude color. So this one is called Love Love and it's number seven. And this one looks like this. It's almost like a lighter beige tone nude. And then this one is number three and this is called Satin. I think that's how it's pronounced. And then this one looks more of like a cream formula and that one's a really, really pretty beige slash pink kind of tone in it. And I ended up getting this Urban Decay shade. So this actually was a repurchase of mine. It's in the shade Hideaway. And this is actually what I used um, for all my purple kind of tones. Then I also did get this one. This is actually a Huda Beauty lipstick. And this is the first time I've ever tried her formula before. So this is in the shade Dirty 30, but it's almost like a purple tone gray kind of color. Now I'm just gonna work on depotting these and putting them into my lipstick palettes. I hope you guys enjoyed me depotting things. I did realize, however, that one of the colors that I got is really similar to another color that I got, so I wish I would have picked a different color. Besides that, I have both my palettes made now and I'm really happy with the color combos and everything, so I'll be prepared for my two bridal previews tomorrow. Also, my husband and I are finally going out for our anniversary tomorrow night, in case you guys were wondering. We are going out to Ruth Chris Steakhouse and I absolutely love their steaks. It's really extra and really bougie. The food is so good. I'm a really huge foodie, if you guys do not know. I love food. I love different kinds of food and trying different things. I'm really excited to be going out tomorrow. Um, hopefully tomorrow goes really well. I have a couple of bridal previews as I said before and hopefully they're all really chill. I have a luxury bridal package that's going to be taking place at 11 tomorrow and then I have another one later in the afternoon. So yeah, hopefully all goes well and I will probably be signing off right now and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. It's currently Friday and my dogs are roughhousing in the back so if you guys can hear them I'm so sorry. Guys, hey, knock it off please. Let me put them outside. Hold on a second. Of course, a plane's also going by when I'm trying to talk too. Anyway, sorry I look like a hot mess. I'm about to put dry shampoo in my hair because I'm way too lazy to shower. Comment below if you guys feel me. I stayed up till like maybe like one o'clock last night or something. I usually don't actually stay up that late. I'm literally getting so old to the point where I just can't do it anymore, <laughs> even on weekends. And of course, I usually have to get up really early in the morning anyways. So it's not like I really should stay up that late, but I stayed up till one last night and then I set my alarm for eight. I don't know. I just don't feel awake right now. But anyways, I'm actually going to try putting on um, these Benefiance Shiseido eye masks here. This is actually what I bought for my luxury bridal package. I have an extra one, so I just kind of want to try them out. I also did figure out that they're not like the Skin Iceland ones that I usually get. So they come in this tray right here, but they do have a serum that's in here. The thing that I really like about the Skin Iceland ones is that they actually adhere to people's faces like they have a tacky side but I like them because they don't slip and slide around your face like gels do. So these are cotton and the serums kind of just soaked into the cotton. Yeah they just come out like this. I'm just gonna put them right underneath my eyes here. The thing I do like about these more than the Skin Iceland ones though is that they actually do have retinol inside of them which means if you leave them on for 15 minutes or more 
then they will actually start kind of smoothing out any like fine lines or texture underneath your eyes. And it makes it a really good prep step for makeup. Okay, just got done with the makeup. It looks really good, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up my desk. Okay, my desk is now cleaned up, so I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some breakfast. Probably gonna be a basic white girl and make myself some avocado toast because I need to use the avocados that my husband bought the other day because they're getting kind of ripe now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, it's about a half hour before my client's supposed to come for the bridal preview. So I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up here. It's literally so freaking gloomy outside. There's just like no sun. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up. So I'll probably just do a little speed run here. This is what the station setup looks like here. Again, if you guys want to see an in-depth version of this, definitely go ahead and check out my video. I will be linking it up above. I went in-depth about how I set up my station and also why I set it up the way I do. So go ahead and check out that video if you guys have not already. Other than that though, I'm probably just going to be restocking that fridge with water bottles because I did run out the last time. And then just set up my little camping chair over here. I did put my chair over there that usually sits in front of my vanity. And I usually put my tablet on top because I like to play a really relaxing like Spotify music in the background. <laughs> just so it's not like dead silent the whole time. Um, and yeah, I'll just go ahead and light that candle. I already lit one in the entryway just to kind of give an ambiance when you walk in. I almost forgot to get out my stuff for the luxury facial. <laughs> This is what I use on people for the luxury package. So I use the Tatcha sheet mask. That's what I usually go in with. Then I kind of use it um, with a little facial roller. This is a rose quartz one. And I just kind of massage the serum and everything from the mask into people's faces. And then once I remove the mask, I will usually use my hands and just kind of work on the serum. Then I also will go in with this guy here. Of course, you guys just saw me use that on myself this morning, but I did use it on a client previously last weekend and it worked out really good. Yeah, I think that's about it, guys. Okay, I just finished the bridal preview and it went so freaking well. It took the full two hours, but she had a really, really glam look and she wanted all of her freckles covered and really full coverage and dramatic lashes and everything. And it was just kind of refreshing to be able to do something like that. Hopefully um, my next client that is coming at three is showing up. I completely forgot to confirm with her if she was actually still okay with showing up today. I usually am pretty good at sending out confirmations and everything just to double check, but I forgot to do it because I've just been really busy this week. I was solely communicating with her through email, so I don't have any other contact with her except for just through Instagram, so I might just message her now. Yeah, my last bride was so freaking sweet. Oh my gosh, she was literally a dream to work with. I honestly was really nervous because she said she's done her makeup before and so she always does it a certain way. I did also creep on her Instagram page and she does her makeup really well by herself. And that's why it's almost kind of intimidating as a makeup artist sometimes to go into something like that because you just never know if you're doing it the right way or the person's taste if they're already used to doing it on themselves. But she said it looked absolutely fantastic and I'm really happy to hear that. It was so nerve-wracking on some parts <laughs> but um, we got there and everything and she didn't want to change a thing so I'm really happy that she loved everything that I did. I just went ahead and filled out the consultation sheet for her. I'm just going to be packing up all my stuff and I think that's pretty much about it so I'll sign off here and just kind of I guess speed run through me cleaning up everything. <laughs> videos from my vlogging camera to my phone. I got everything set up as you guys can see. 
I honestly really appreciate the fact that my clients literally bring me coffee to the bridal preview sometimes. So anyway, she should be here pretty soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off and I will talk to you guys afterwards. Okay, I just finished up with the second bridal preview of the day and that's pretty much it. So I think I'm probably going to go ahead and just kind of clean everything up. I do need to probably prep touch-up kits for tomorrow's wedding. I only have six people tomorrow and then I have a special event makeup afterwards. I do have a girl that's going to some sort of formal, I think. And that's what I'm doing makeup for. So um, yeah, I have seven applications in total tomorrow. And I also have to probably prep a touch-up kit for the formal gal as well. So I'm probably going to be doing that for a minute. I just finished packing up everything and now I'm just gonna get ready to go to the Ruth Chris for dinner and I am so excited so I will probably just catch up with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, future Julie here. Long story short, my vlog footage got deleted. So um, I am doing Saturday's intro now. Just wanted to make sure there was an intro for Saturday so it doesn't just jump straight into the footage. Anyways, today I'm going to be doing six people for a wedding, which is literally such a relief compared to last weekend because I had 11 applications total last weekend and it was a lot. I've also been to this venue before for the wedding. It actually is a newer venue, I think. I think they just constructed it not too long ago. I remember it having like a new home kind of smell the last time. Either that or they just extended it for the bridal suite. I'm not really sure. It's the Chapel Road Retreat in Andrews, Indiana. So I'm going to be going there for the wedding. And yeah, let me just take you... dark inside and I think I'm the only one here but the bride said I can go ahead and go in and I already checked the doors and they are unlocked. Hopefully I can find all the light switches because it looks like it's really dark in there. So yeah I'm gonna go in and just see what I can do for our lights. <laughs> okay. I tried this door earlier. mess with any other light switches but this is what the venue looks like here look everything's like super fall themed i love it also i'm still filming on my phone <laughs> because my other camera does not have any stabilization so this is actually the bride suite right here i do know this from coming here earlier light switch yeah, and then this is what the bridal suite looks like here. So I'm probably just gonna rearrange a couple of things. I think I tucked myself in this corner before, so that's probably what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe it'd be handier to be near a trash can this time. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll figure it out. Just a side note, I do really appreciate when venues put these like really white.
Right now I'm taking a little lunch break because <laughs> I have an awkward amount of time in between my next appointment. It's like two hours, but if I drive to my house and I only have like 15 minutes, so it's kind of weird how it's going to be working. So anyways, um, I'm just going to, I think, take a little bit of a break and um, snack on some Jimmy John's sub because the bridal party was nice enough to let me have it. I also took some water too. 
So yeah, I'm probably just gonna be eating in my car for a little bit and then I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay, I'm just about to head to my next appointment here. I did end up having time to stop at home. I went ahead and just unloaded my whole backpack that I was carrying with me and just kind of converted everything into my case. I only have one person to do for formal makeup later, so I'm gonna go ahead and head there now. It takes about 55 minutes to get to Van Wert, Ohio from where I am right now, so I wanted to make sure that I left in enough time to kind of beat traffic and everything. So um, yeah, if anything, I'll end up there early, but rather be early than late. Also, I'm probably not gonna be able to record this just because I feel kind of weird about videoing minors sometimes because it's just kind of like I think a little bit of a weird like legal issue or something and this person is still in high school so I just want to make sure that um you know I'm doing like an ethical thing and everything so um yeah if I can take pictures then I will but other than that though I probably will just uh, talk to you guys after I get done <laughs> Makeup and she was so sweet. The girl was so sweet, and she absolutely loved her makeup. She literally could not stop talking about it, and her mom loved it and everything. So I'm really, really thrilled about it. I am currently headed home right now. I have about 48 minutes until I get home, and it is super windy outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but it's very windy. So I'm gonna just concentrate on driving and not blowing all over the road. So, anyways, I will talk to you guys when I get home. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and refill these lipstick palettes because literally this is what they look like after I finish a wedding Then I just got to clean my brushes now. I am just printing out the receipts from the credit card um, Transactions I processed today for my wedding I think everybody pretty much paid with a credit card except for one person tipped me on Venmo So I have to print that out and then the other tips were in cash So I just have to make sure to record everything in my accounting system and everything I just use Excel for accounting just to let you guys know it's not like an actual accounting system Obviously, I can't show you the screen or anything But that's what I'm gonna be doing There's a couple of emails that I have to respond to and then a few YouTube comments that I have to respond to as well So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, and I also have to print out a bridal consultation sheet for the bridal preview I did yesterday, the second one. I did it for the first one, but for some odd reason I forgot to fill it out for the second one, so I'll have to do that really quickly. I'm pretty sure I remembered everything I used on her, but I'll have to think back and see what I did here. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I will probably just check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. It is currently Sunday now. I have a couple of different bridal previews. I'm actually currently headed to the Sephora inside of JCPenney's. I've literally been there twice this weekend already. I have to go pick up the stuff for the luxury bridal package because on my contract, usually I list how much each application is. Either you do my luxury package or the basic package and I don't usually ask people ahead of time which one they want to do because when they fill out the contract, there's a spot where they can list everybody that's doing makeup and including themselves and the prices of everything so depending on what price they put it usually tells me if they're doing the basic or the luxury but this person put like a really odd amount and at first I thought it was maybe because they didn't add the deposit amount in there but that doesn't also add up either <laughs> so I want to make sure that I have the supplies that I need for the luxury package in case they actually meant to put that down so I'm gonna go ahead and just get the supplies anyways because I'd rather be overly prepared than not prepared obviously because I don't want her to think I'm just like a hot mess running around I'm gonna go ahead and run over to Kohl's and everything and try to pick up the supplies for it. I just need a sheet mask and the eye masks and everything that I have so um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and run over and do that. I probably won't be vlogging while I'm in there because I kind of just need to rush around and like do it really quickly. Um, so yeah, I'll come back home and then um, set everything up for the bridal preview. Just came back from Sephora. Just this little mini bag is so cute. 
Anyways, I picked up my little Shiseido eye masks here that I'm gonna use in case this person does choose the luxury facial, still not sure. Then I picked up another one of the Chacha sheet masks here. I already am running out of one of my lipsticks that I hauled earlier in the vlog, so I picked up this lighter one here. It's a really good color, by the way. And then I also was running out of one of my Huda Beauty powders that I have in this shade Pound Cake here. And this is the only one I could find. It's just a mini version of it. So I decided to go ahead and refill my little jar that I have of the other one. I still need to get the sugar cookie shade, but they don't have it at the one Sephora store yet. So I'm going to wait till they um, refill it and everything. But yeah, um, that's what I got from Sephora. And then right now I'm actually going to work on getting all my brushes back in my brush belt because I cleaned a lot of them from yesterday. Right now I'm just gonna be putting some of this powder into this little container here because this is the one I was running out of. everything in this powder jar now. I think that's pretty much all that can fit in it. I just don't like to overfill these too much because otherwise powder does tend to explode and go a little over the place. So I'm going to go ahead and cap this little guy back up here. Maybe. I don't know how to get this back in here. Oh, there we go. Just made a mess out of that. It's fine. Now it's time to start setting up everything. I'm probably not going to include this because I literally have included it like twice now. <laughs> okay, just got done with the first bridal preview. It went super great. The bride was so, so nice and really chill. Honestly, that was probably one of the chillest bridal previews that I think I've ever done. She didn't ask for any changes or anything. Of course, I let her know if she has anything that she thinks of or if she kind of sees throughout the day that she wants to change. I told her to just go ahead and message me and I can make those changes on the consultation sheet. I'm going to go ahead and clean up my stuff that I have. I'm setting up for a another bridal preview. I did text that bride and say that she, if she wanted to come earlier, she could. She's not scheduled until 3.30 and it's currently about 2.15 right now. So I told her if she wanted to come earlier, then she totally could. I just really probably shouldn't have scheduled the bridal preview so late. So that was definitely my own fault. <laughs> but um, I just kind of wanted to get done as soon as I possibly can just so I have the rest of the evening. But in case she can't, that's totally fine too. The second person that's coming over actually has not signed a contract with me yet. She is doing the basic package and I will basically be um, doing her application and just seeing if she wants to book with me afterwards. Okay, everything is all set up and everything for my next bridal preview. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now here. Okay, just got done with the second bridal preview and the bride ended up booking with me. She also brought her mom along too and honestly, those two were so sweet. I thoroughly enjoyed getting to know both of them. Just got both my bridal consultation sheets filled out here. I have one for one person and then one for another. And then I just had to go through and um, figure out the schedule for one of the brides because she has like so many people. There's literally 10 people on here and which means I have to start at like 5.45 a.m. and arrive there, get set up, and then start everybody at 6 because they have to be done by 12.30. I think the ceremony is at 1. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they have to be done really early. And since there's only one of me, then I will be starting very early, but they don't have a problem with that. I just sent two bridal contracts, so I should be all good now. The only thing I have to do really is just kind of wipe down my kit a little bit more, and then I do have to refill my lipstick palettes because, again, I like went through them pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. <laughs> I'm sitting on the floor and my dogs just think it's an open invitation to bother me. It's fine. I'm in your territory now, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. If you guys did enjoy, definitely go ahead and give me a big thumbs up as well as also hitting that subscribe button if you guys have not already subscribed. I do upload a ton of makeup artist related content, so if you guys are interested, please subscribe to the channel. As always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.